Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Azorokwam Nelson and today I'm going to be showing you code for biometric enrollment and verification using Digital Persona, C Sharp and MySQL. So before I start, I already have MySQL server running on my system. Also, I have MySQL Workbench installed on my system you can see here i have a table i have a database and some tables so this is um let me close this for a moment this is where our information are going to be updated our login is going to come from this particular table user then when we do our enrollment the information is going to be updated here if I select this table, you will see here we have fields for the templates. So for the 10 fingers, we have FP template 1 to FP template 10. So the, um, the fingerprint templates are going to be stored here. Then for the images, if you want also, the images can also be stored here. You can see we have image bin 1 to image bin 10. So this um, source code can use your database. So whichever database you have, whichever MySQL database you have, we can integrate it to update certain columns that you indicate. So I will close it out and uh, open up my Visual Studio here. You can see the source code here. This is the, the source code. I will start the source code so you will see the software itself. So that's the software here. It's um it's the it's um interpreted in French because the client I did this for um wanted it in French. So I'm going to log in. Remember our login um uses the user table we have on our MySQL database. So I'm going to log in with the information there. Now you can modify this to enter your own connection string, your server information. You can do that in these parameters here. From here you can set, um, on this base the domains here, you can set your server IP address, you can set the database name, the user and the password here. So I already have this set, so I can go ahead and uh, log in. When you log in, you are going to see this screen. To do fresh enrollment, this is where we go, HMT and the research. We, you are now expected to search for the person you want to enroll for. You can do a search, you can view all the records here, you can do verification here. So if I view all the records, you can see we have about four records on the database. So we can update their fingerprints if we want. Let's pick this ID, for example, APK0001. We can come here, do search, input the ID 0001, search this form comes up so here you can now go ahead and enroll your fingers i'm going to enroll four fingers now you can see that on the left side here we have information belonging to the particular person we are we are modifying his or her fingerprint I will do for my left for my right hand I mean all right so I click update 
Do you wish to update this enrollment? Of course I do. I click yes. Employee updated successfully. Okay. All right, so I will go back to my SQL. I'll go back to my SQL. I will do a select on this agent table here. You will see that we have our finger template four and five updated. That's the two fingers that we updated. You can also see that we have it for nine and 10. That is for our right hand. Then also the image, the images we are also updated. Now I'm going to do this again. I'm going to update all the fingers. So let me minimize this. I'm going to do another search. You can see we have four fingers enrolled, right? I'm going to enroll all the fingers now. So when we are done enrolling all the fingers, if we go back to the database, you will see that we will have all the columns updated. That's all the columns for the fingerprint templates will be updated and their respective images will also be updated. So I'm done enrolling my fingers. Let me update now. Successful. We go back to MySQL Workbench. Let me close this and reselect. All right, so for this, our ID, take note, we updated for this ID, APK001. Let me highlight this. So if I scroll to the right, you will see that all the templates has been updated. You can see here we have blob, 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 unlike the null we had before. The same thing, notice their respective images were also updated. Right, so this um, this can actually work. Any database you you have, we can I can integrate the software to work with your database. Let me go back to the software. Now we can do verify, we can do verification, just to make sure that our fingerprint template is actually stored on this database. Let me close this for a moment. We'll go to um, verifier. This uh, window comes in. So I'm going to put in one of the fingers I enrolled with, and once I put it, it's going to um, it's going to pop up to tell me that I am so 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 person. So I'll go ahead and place my finger. So you can see my information is showing here. You can see the ID that we enrolled. You can see the name, this the um, the first name, the middle name, the the last name. We have the telephone number also and the sex showing here, right? This um, information, we can export it also. Let me close this. We can do export. You can export it here. Click export. You, you select here. Now, if you want to include the fingerprint also, you need to select this one. Select, you click download. And now you need to give it a name. My export third data. So we save. So export was successful. Now I can go to my to my directory here. Go to document my exported folder I can let's say um, it's actually a zip so I can extract open my extract here I have all my informations exported for me to Excel you can see that we have an Excel here you can see our ID also and our four records. So let me close this. 
You can also, if I go to imprint, you will see here we have our fingerprints. Here we have our fingerprints. So that is it, guys. If you want the software or if you want the source code, you can reach me. I'm going to drop my information below um, on the description. I'm also available on Fiverr if you if you want to come through Fiverr. I'm also available on Fiverr, so you can reach me on Fiverr. So that's it for now. Take care, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.